everyone, this is Nadia Sobrati coming to you live from Queens, New York from Create Wealth with Nadia.com. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. Guys, I'm sorry. I was shooting this video and then all of a sudden I couldn't get an internet connection. Well, I was almost finished with this training, so I have to record this again. When you guys jump in, please let me know where you're coming from. Now, <clears throat> today I'm going to talk to you all about a daily method of operation, right? And a daily method of operation, your DMO is a schedule that you schedule daily tasks that you're going to use for to build a successful business online and i'm also going to show you how to focus on each section right after i'm finished explaining this and i'm going to draw a circle and show you how, exactly how to focus on each section especially for people you know who have a day job and and they don't really have much time to focus on their business guys you can come if you have two hours a day you can complete you can totally build your business with two hours a day if you have that right so now let's get started daily method of operation schedule schedule for daily tasks so you're going to be focusing on six daily tasks now you're going to be focused on post personal development content creation content syndication build your audience and um you're also going to um build your audience relationship building and offering free value right guys now personal development what are you reading? What are you, you what are you reading to enhance your knowledge? As entrepreneurs, guys, we're always going to be learning new things. We're always going to be reading, researching, you know, um, watching videos, taking trainings. Personal development is huge when it comes to our business, right? So, what are, what kind of books are you reading? Right? You can watch YouTube videos. There, there are personal development everywhere, guys. Now, let's talk a little bit about content creation. When it comes to creating content, it's huge that you know your audience. Who are you creating content for? Because listen, if you have an audience, right, and they're not targeted, you can be creating all the content you want. You're not going to get an engagement. No one is going to be reading your stuff. Right, guys? So content creation is huge. You need to know your audience. So when it comes to content creation, story. What is your story? Who are you? Right? You can share your story. Videos. Videos are huge. And back when I started, they predicted 80% of people will be uh, doing video marketing by the year 2020. We're in 2020 now. Guys, times are changing. A lot of people are doing videos, right? So videos are huge. Training. You can create a training. That's great for content. Um, YouTube. And if you're struggling with content, guys, go to YouTube. YouTube. You can Google anything you want also. Google and YouTube are my best friends. That's where I find content from. That's where I create my content from, my own content. Right, guys? So content creation. Because you know something? I'm getting a lot of uh, friend requests, and I research everyone. I, don't just, I just don't add people to my, my audience. Right, guys? Because if you're adding everyone to your audience, guess what? You're building an audience with no one. So your audience should be targeted, and you need to be creating content for that particular audience. All right, guys? So only you can figure out your audience, what's your niche, you know what I mean? Only you can figure out. But I highly recommend learning how, uh, how to write your own branding story. Who are you? Where you came from? Storytelling is huge. You can use stories for products, story ads. You can use stories for anything. So stories are excellent, guys, to start creating your branding story for anything. Okay? Now let's talk about content uh, syndication. Content syndication simply means sharing your content on all the platforms. So you can get massive exposure. Now, when you syndicate your content on the groups, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, right, guys? LinkedIn, you are syndicating your content to get massive exposure, to get exposure. Now, you you know, because listen, people don't will not buy from you the first time seeing you. You have to be in their face all the time, right? So content syndication. It's perfect for people to start seeing you and start following you, right? And once they start seeing where you are and following you and, and, and your journey, guess what? They're more likely to join you. But another thing, they're not going to join you on the first day meeting you. They're not going to buy your products on the first day meeting you, right, guys? So content syndication. You have to syndicate your content. So what you guys can do is you can find some of these groups, right, Facebook groups. Guys, they have groups for different niches. It doesn't matter what you're selling. There are groups for everything, stay-at-home mom, entrepreneurs. Um, they're, they're just groups for everything, right? Only you will know what, 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 what's your niche. 
what you can do is join these groups, but make sure these groups are open to the public and they have thousands and thousands and thousands of people, right? I joined, I, I, I joined a lot of groups, but like over two or 300, I don't even know. I don't even count anymore, right? But you need to join these groups, guys. And these groups, you're not gonna be recruiting people from these groups. You are gonna be joining these groups to get exposure. And this is something you have to do every single day, right? So look for the groups that are open to the public that has like maybe 40,000 people, 50,000 people, 60,000 people, 100,000 people. Boom. These are the groups you want to syndicate your content in. Why? Because people are going to see who you are. Right, guys? Now, let's talk about building your audience. And a lot of people think, oh, let me just build my audience. Let me just add everyone. No, 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 no. You don't want to do that. This takes work, guys. This is work what we do. And it's not easy building a target audience either. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Look, I've been doing online marketing for 3.4 years. I have multiple business pages. One of my business page, I have um, over 5,000 follow, over 5,000 people on that. My Facebook page has close to 5,000 people. My custom audience of last month, um, I got 40,000 people captured in my capture audience, right? So, you know, it's so important, guys. You have to build your audience every single day, right? But this is just the basic. So, Build your audience. You want to connect with 10 people a day, right? To build your audience. What you want to do is you want to go and research these people. Make sure they're marketers. Make sure you have uh, mutual friends in common. Make sure you have um, a common interest. Go and research them. And I'm not just saying, guys, when you go through their page and you just click on the first thing, don't do that. You need to go through their page because let me tell you something. There are a lot of fake profiles out there. And a lot of marketers are following these profiles. Why? How do I know that? Because I research everyone who sent me a friend request. I don't just click on the first thing. The, I, I research everything. So my audience is targeted. My audience is built, right? So I just don't add people to my audience. Because if I'm adding just everyone to my audience, guys, not everyone is going to want what I have to offer. So that means if I'm just adding everyone without, realize, I mean, without researching them, no one is going to want what I have to offer, right? So make sure you research them. That is so important, guys, and this takes time. If you're serious about building your business, you need to start researching people, okay? Now, you're going to connect with 10 people a day. And when, you're gonna, when you send them a friend request, you want to send a message. Hey, hi, how are you doing? My name is Nadia Sobrati. I noticed that we have a lot of mutual friends in common, and I would really like to connect with you. Send them a message with a friend request. Don't just send them a friend request, guys, because you know what? I don't, I don't accept people who, who don't send me a friend request. I have hundreds and hundreds of people that are messaging me daily, that are sending me friend requests. I don't accept everyone, you know? So it's important that you guys, if you're serious about your business, you have to start doing this, right? Connect with 10 people a day, and you have to do this every single day, every single day. Now, let's talk about, oh, so you're going you're gonna, to... Uh, Connect, you're going to build your audience with 10 people a day. Guys, at the end of the week, that's 70 people. Do you know how much people you're going to have at the end of the month? This is huge, right? But I'm teaching you guys how to build a target audience. Now, so let's say you're on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. I have an audience on there too. I think I have a, I have a, I have a bunch of different Twitter accounts. But yeah, on Twitter... On Twitter, I'm automated, right? My business is automated on Twitter. So it just spits out content and, and you know, it, it's, it's a different thing because I built uh, four Twitter lead machines. Yeah, that runs, on auto, that's run, that runs on auto, right? And I generate sales and leads from that daily. Now, <clears throat> so on Twitter, you're going to follow, if you're not automated, follow 200 people, unfollow 200 people, right? That's what Twitter will let you know if you're not making a, if you're not automated and if you're not paying a monthly fee, right? I pay monthly. Okay, guys. So, and you still have to research these people for your niche. So you can go in the search section, uh, research entrepreneurs, then find out who, then, then research who they're following, and then start following these people and send them a message. It's so important, guys, to connect with people and send them a message. Yet, so many people are scared, you know, to talk to people. People, people are easy to talk to. People are very easy to talk to, and you got to put yourself out there. Personal branding is huge. If people don't know who you are, they're not going to buy your products. They're not going to talk to you. And this takes time to build. This takes time. You know, you have to, like, really be at it every single day. you got to be in their face. 
come on, I didn't build a, my business overnight. You know, it's been what, three years and four months, but I, I was at it this every single day, guys. I'm not kidding, 16 hours a day to build it to this point where it is, you know? Now, let's talk about relationship building. Now, a lot of people get confused about relationship building. They're, they're like, oh, let me, let me build this relationship, and the first time these people meet me, I'm going to push them my product, push them my product. No, 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 no. Relationship building simply means to be a friend. Connect with them, right? Introduce yourself to them. A first contact with someone should not be pitching. No one is going to buy your products. What's going to happen? They're going to block you. I do it all the time, you know. Um, so you want to build a relationship because, guys, in our line of work is relationship building. If you're not connecting with people and if you're not building relationships with them, guess what? No one is going to join you. No one. You know, so build report, find out who they are, find out who they are, you know, what they're about. If they have kids, that would give you an idea. Find out if they're married, that would give you an idea. If, you know, when you're building report with them, that would give you an idea that if, that would give you an idea if you could show them your product. Build a relationship, find out who they are, where they live, do they have children, you know, these type of things. Build relationship, guys, no pitching whatsoever. This is not how you're going to make money. you got to build relationships. This takes time. This is long term, right? For example, when I launched my first opportunity, I was only two months in. I really wasn't that experienced, but I was building my audience every day, right? It was a high ticket, $1,500 uh, product. I didn't know any better, guys. I was new. But, yeah, I was building my relationship. I was only two months in, so these people didn't know me. Even though I was doing videos every day, guess what? My upline told me, Nadia, make a list of 100 people. Contact all these people. Guys, I made a list of 100 people. Three people joined me. The others won't even talk to me. But you know what? I didn't delete them on my friends list. I continued to build that, that, that relationship because that first product I launched, only three people joined me. Then after a month, two canceled. They couldn't afford the order, the order payment every month, which was $100. But this high ticket line was $1,500, right? I didn't make my money back. But it is what it is. I was still new and I was still learning. And a lot of uh, leaders teach you, oh, yeah, make a list of 100 people and contact them. They're not teaching you value. They're not teaching you how to build a relationship. They're making it sound like, oh, it's so easy. Yeah, let me get you into that MLM. And all you got, all they're focusing on is you bringing in money. They're not, they don't care about teaching you how to market correctly. They're not. I had to learn this the hard way because that first opportunity went downhill. I made no money, right? But the second opportunity, guess what? It was something that I liked, was a lead generating system. Guess what? Those same people, and I launched it, I think, a month and a half after that opportunity. But I continued to build those relationships. I did not pitch them my product. I continued to build those relationships. Guess what? When I launched a second opportunity, within, one, four, eight, within 12 weeks, I recruited 90 people and built a team of over 1,000. I hit three leadership ranks. I got a bonus. Um, I, I earned a cruise in the Caribbean. You know, um, and I was interviewed with a six and seven figure earners. So that, that was like, boom, guys, I was like, I was like, I was like only six months in, but I was at it every day. I didn't start making money until six months working online, you know, right? So relationship building is huge. Be friend, show a genuine interest in people. When you show a genuine interest in people, guess what? They're going to feel that connection to you, right? Now offering free value. You can have a PDF. Offer free value, guys. Create a PDF. Give it away for free. You can give away a free course. There's so many free courses. You can give away a free course, right? And guess what? In these free courses or whatever, you can create a, a, a capture page. You can give it to them for free. And guess what? You give it to them for free, and they're going to enter their email address, right? Their email address and their name. And that's going to go on your autoresponder, and you got that lead. And you can start marketing to these people. Right? So I wanted to share that with you. Now, I want to show you guys something. Let me show you um, how, how you can do time management. Right? I'm going to draw a circle. It's probably not going to be that good, but it's OK. All right, I tried. Now, this is for time management. Let me just set up this and then show you guys especially for people that are working, have a day job, and you don't have much time to focus on your business, we're going to focus on one hour and show you how you can divide these times up into six different parts and exactly what you need to focus on. So we're going to focus on an hour. So depending on how many hours you have, right, we're going to focus on an hour, and you're going to focus on 10 
areas each day. 10 minutes in each day, right? So let's do this. All right, so we have one, two, three, six. So we're gonna put personal development, personal development, 10 minutes. Content creation, 10 minutes. Content syndication, 10 minutes. Build your audience. Ten minutes. Relationship building. Ten minutes. And offering free value. Ten minutes. All right. Now. Personal development, let's say you have only an hour. Let's say you only have an hour to work on your business, right guys? If you focus on each section, 10 minutes a day, 10 minutes on, on, con, on um, personal development, 10 minutes on content creation, 10 minutes on content syndication, 10 minutes on relationship building, and 10 minutes on offer free value, guess what? As you start doing this every single day, you, it's gonna keep you on track and then you, are going to be able you're going to start seeing results in your business but this is something you got to do every day you can't just do it one day and figure oh my gosh that's enough you got to do this every day because let me tell you something once you start building your audience right and let's say you stop showing up guess what no one's going to want to follow you this is a business and you got to treat this as a business all right guys so i just wanted to share that i hope you guys are doing well um if you need if you need anything coaching I'm right here. You can send me a message. I have three different packages for coaching. Um, if you need help with anything, guys, send me a message. I'll be more than happy to get back to you guys, all right? So I hope you're having an amazing day, and I will talk to you all later. Bye, everyone.